Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I am going to be showing you how to paint slash edit clothes on Procreate. Pretend that this was like an avatar and you painted in the base color of whatever your avatar was wearing or whatever picture you're morphing and you want to change the outfit, how it looks, into a different style. So pretend that is what this is right and you wanted to change it into like a Louis Vuitton brand or like Prada Gucci whatever you want it to be or just like plain like this like I'm gonna show you how to do that but it, let's say you do want a brand on it I've done a tutorial like this on Ibis Paint like so long ago never did on Procreate let's get a wallpaper a Louis Vuitton wallpaper and you're just gonna put it right in the center of the picture i mean the base that you just did so then you're going to use a clipping mask so it goes around it now you can either leave it like this or you could put the opacity down i want to put the opacity down like about 32 percent then we are going to make a new layer on top of that and make sure all the the layers are a clipping mask each time you make a new one. The brush that I'm using is the round brush on Procreate and I told you how I edited my version so it's more of a solid color like this, like that, not like this where it goes light and then it goes darker depending on how hard you're pressing down with your stylus or actually no, with your Apple Pencil if you're using one. If you're using your fingers, then it depends how much pressure you're putting on it. So, yeah. All right, so we are going to make a darker color. I went down a bit on the color wheel. Make sure it's like a cool color, not like a high saturated one. How I got this, I found this picture on Pinterest. So right here, this is my reference. So you see how in the second picture where it's shaded right here, that's what we're going to be focusing on at the moment. We're going to add color right here. I know some of you might ask me to have this picture, so I'm going to post it on my community tab. So those are the parts that we're doing. We're going to use the smudging tool. By the way, the, my smudging tool, the opacity is down to like the 7% and the brush I'm using for the smudging tool is the round brush. So we're going to make a new layer, remember to do the clipping mask and in this layer we are going to go another shade 
darker in the same areas where I put the paint before actually not in not exactly the same areas like near her arms Now we're going to start smudging again. Around the waist area, when you're shading that bit, just smudge it down like this so you can see where her waist curves and then just smudge the rest down to the side like you see in the picture, the reference that I'm using. Also remember not to rush this because it does take a lot of time and you do want it to look nice. So right now I made a new layer and we're going to make this colour a little bit darker so we can start doing the crease on this dress. So the crease would go right here the crease can be like as random as you want it This part is actually so easy, just make a little line like this. And boom, you have a crease.
Now how I always want to keep it simple. You can add more creases if you want to or you could just leave it like this. Okay, beautiful people, when you're done doing the creases, we are going to go another shade darker and this should be the last shade that we are going to be going dark on. We are actually going to use the same color we did the creases with to do the shading. So remember to do a new layer and start shading. Remember when you do these that having a reference really helps if you don't have a reference you're going to be confused it's not always easy to do things freehand because you just want the proportions to be right Okay, so the next thing that I'm doing is going on hue, saturation, brightness, the first option, and I'm going to make this a little darker. And then putting down the saturation a little bit. And doing this, I can see where I need to fix some areas. For example, around here where I'm smudging. So I'm picking this color after I fixed the shading and I'm going to use it to do that part. And then dragging it up. At this point we don't need the sketch anymore because we can see the parts that we're shading and I'm just going to make this look a bit neater by fixing this. Now we can highlight. So pick the color that looks similar to the base color that we used in the beginning and 
make it a bit lighter we're gonna highlight in these areas right here and here We are going to go back a little bit to make the creases a little bit more defined. But for now, it's looking really good. And I suggest that you keep practicing so you can see for yourself that this is actually really easy to do. A new layer on top under the highlight and on top of the darker shade i dropped that dark shade so we can put it around here where it needs to be and here where we didn't do enough of it And for the last step of this video is just adding more creases. My dumbass did not have my mic properly on. That just pissed me off. All right, now that you've done the crease, that is, you're basically done. You don't need to do anything else. That's it for this video. I hope that it wasn't too hard to do. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I took my time and went through each step with all of you and I made sure i didn't speed up the video too much so you understood what i was doing and how I, how i was smudging smudging was actually pretty difficult to try to explain so i just didn't and just wanted you guys to watch me how i was doing it but it it's all about practice so just keep doing it and see how you're comfortable with painting and editing clothes how you want to do it also if you have any questions you can comment and I will reply to it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you in my next video.